just wondering where we could stay, where we get some water. We don't have to get into a marina. I found something. Astros. Oh. oh. No, just up here, Peloponnese. Well, we all woke up around 7 a.m. because everybody was doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rolly, a little bit rolly. We would need fuel as well, but uh, we decided to go against all odds and just move on because yeah, yeah because this place feels too inaccessible. But it's about 40 degrees out there, so considering that you have to walk probably another 10 minutes up the hill to get fuel and then go back with fuel canisters that weigh 50 kilos, we're just gonna wing it. We might find a, a gas station somewhere along the way. Yeah. I may orange juice, fresh orange juice from our from our last hunt with water so we have some vitamin vitamin C coming with the vitamin D and uh, we're gonna make it of the bay. We are sailing until we're fed up of sailing. Actually, yeah. <laughs> because it's so hot outside. It's so hot. So we're just sailing to escape the heat. We did make some air conditioning yesterday with putting some fans in the fridge. Inside the fridge, yeah. <laughs> and blow the cold air out. It helps to cool it down and quickly a Don't little bit. Yeah. yeah. Enough not to fall unconscious while you're downstairs. See the ocean how it sways in the sun Keeping your stories In its motion Lies the truth about us Turtle stuck in there. Oh no, it's stuck in there. Yeah, I think it might be stuck. I don't think it's hunting. Oh, now I don't see it anymore. <laughs> Trying to save a turtle doesn't want to be saved. It looked like she was stuck. <laughs> Careful around here. Yes, you want dinner. I know that. Clever boy. It's a cute place. Yeah. No? I mean, no one's just pulling. Not really happy with the anchorage, but it's late. We have to find a way to get it on land, so yeah. so we don't. We're not completely in the dark.
this had to swim for silver foil that we're using to shield our boat from the sun. It's about 47 degrees today. All of Europe is in a severe heat wave. I think it's about 4.30 now. Maybe another two or three hours and we will be just bearable to go down the down here. The, the gas station is actually in sight, but yet yeah, so far away. <laughs> None of the guys wants to go out. Who can blame us if it's 47 degrees? Nobody wants to move. Okay, here is 36 degrees. With our makeshift sun covers. And then in here... Four. Oh, 42. Yeah, 42.7. We wanted um, to go and put fuel and buy dinghy fuel and stuff like that, but it's too dangerous to leave the pets here alone. Um, yeah, we cannot even leave Shia yeah, here, she might yeah. just spontaneously combust. <laughs> that's a thing actually, spontaneous combustion. <laughs> Don't joke about it. Is. That's a thing. Dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. It's just not really widely reported. Right. <laughs> Are you not heard about it? Don't joke about spontaneously it. Spontaneously combusted. He exploded on stage. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah. Shaya, what, 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 what are we doing here? <laughs> Did we just people hijack a so car? Nice. See, so you know, people are not out there to kill and bob you, they just give you your car. I didn't even ask you if you have a driving license. <laughs> oh, man. People, random people in the beach. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Take, my car. Take my car. Well, where are you going to go with the car? Yeah. Just around the island. It's true, we I Uh, we put the thing in the beach and uh, we asked where the gas station was and then uh, just a random stranger came in and said oh yeah it's over there on the corner hurry up because it's seven so he gave us a car he said it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain to go there by foot so just take the car so which car yeah any of them the green ones too. Didn't ask me for no he said did he, he said, do you know how to drive yeah that's take it. Take it, take it. Awesome. island people. I love, I love island people. We were on the way to Athens, for that we have to go to Cape Malias. We realized that on the way to Cape Malias, there's a wreck. It's lying in about 10 meters deep. The beam is about 9 meters, something like that, so like 8 or 9 meters, so that means like it's out of the water pretty much. And it's just before the lighthouse of uh, Cape Malias. Today we are going to just stop there for a while, because we want to snorkel there, because apparently there's also the petrified forest. And I'm pretty excited to figure out what that means actually. I saw some pictures in Google map and it's, there's some like tree trunks and they look like they're petrified. So I think that's why it's called the petrified forest. I think that's the petrified forest. So it was a bit too dangerous to, was, to anchor here last we night. Came, so we I think just, we came about this far. Yeah, and then you just you do you turn. So yeah. <laughs> so we went back to the other side but there are less rocks and less over there and we, we anchored in the night. So Shaya and I went to the bow and were with a big torch. Shaya was leading the way on the Navionics and you were on the helm so that worked out very fine. Yeah, it definitely sticks out from the rest of the area. Nothing else around there. Maybe we do get some information what happened. I don't understand what you do with the dinghy, so it's helpful. I never know why it goes out and in. <laughs> it goes in so when we slow down the boat, the line doesn't get into the propeller. Oh. Because we're going so slow and maybe we have to turn. See any mark for the wreck? No, nothing marked. You could just go over it and get stuck. If you have a long keel. Wow. Well, we're definitely going to see the wreck, even if it wasn't 10 meters. So where is it? Somewhere there. All right, 50. Like stone, I'm motionless in this world of 
Stop. 